This is the world's newest and largest cruise ship, Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas. It holds over 10,000 passengers and crew at full capacity, over 40 eating and drink options on board, eight neighborhoods to separate the entire ship, six water slides, seven pools, 20 decks or floors. Now, there is a lot to discover on this ship. I am on what you would call a private function. Well, it's not really called that, but it's a private sailing, a pre-cruise, if you will, before the ship is available for service to the general public. And we're here for three days, so I'm going to show all of you around and give my first impressions, and we'll go from there. By the way, full transparency, I did not pay for this cruise. It was courtesy of my brand new sponsor and travel agent partner, Lux Rally Travel. Not only are they a rapidly growing travel agency, they are also all purpose, meaning they can give you the best experience possible and best rates for your cruises, your theme parks, your airlines, your all inclusive resorts. Also, I will be joining them in a couple weeks as a travel agent myself. So if you're lucky, maybe you'll get a chance to book with me. And if I'm not available, we do have an amazing, knowledgeable team that can help you out. Make sure you check them out. Link in the description box below and I'll also pin it in the comment. Now let's go explore Icon of the Seas. When I arrived on board not too long ago, I did come in from this general vicinity. As soon as I arrived, the first thing you see is this beautiful lady right here. They call this the Pearl. It's kind of like your welcome aboard. As you can see, it's large and in charge. I talked to a representative earlier. She did mention something about kinetic energy and that this is kind of like a placeholder for a steel beam and support, which allows for these windows up here to be able to be held in place and give it the structure that it needs. This entire area over here is known as the Royal Promenade. Now, this is not technically new, it is larger. The previous class of ships, the Oasis class, before the Icon class did have the same style. However, like I said, it's larger. There's more things to do over this area. A lot of restaurants have been moved as well. We will do some exploring here in a second, but it's kind of like a Esplanade meets the Promenade. Esplanade is what they had on another class, like the Odyssey of the Seas, for example, an Anthem of the Seas. They have Starbucks. You have the pizza place Sorrento's, which is clearly much larger than it ever has been on any Royal Caribbean ship. The Spotlight Karaoke venue also appears to be a lot larger and nicer as well. Upstairs, we do have the Dueling Pianos venue. I'm definitely going to be up here while I'm on board. One thing that's noticeable on this ship that I'm very happy for is that when it comes to the Royal Promenade on other ships like the Oasis class, ships you could never walk around this entire area on the second floor now on this ship it goes all the way around like a giant circle or oval by the way just to be clear this is not going to be a full cruise ship tour unfortunately i do not think that there is enough time to go over every single amenity and cool new feature here on board icon of the seas but i will go over like somewhat first impressions and things that i think are different on this ship and cooler as opposed to maybe the other ships like oasis class ships Something I've noticed on this ship versus other Royal Caribbean ships is that this is not a traditional elevator hall or area. Instead of pressing the elevator button in which the elevator you want to call over, you press the deck or floor that you want to go to, and from there, it'll tell you the letter. After that, you have to find it, and as you can see, it goes in alphabetical order, it works its way all the way around, and I'm elevator E, so I have to wait over there. Before we go out to another neighborhood, let's check out the kids' daycare area, Adventure Ocean. I'm going to show you guys around, I'll be honest with you. I have never brought a child in here. If you guys have any questions, I'll try to get some information while I'm here on board. And I can, of course, ask any of the YCs or youth counselors while I'm here. But either way, let's take a look around. Here you go. We're going to work our way into one of the new neighborhoods. Well, formerly known as a Boardwalk. This is Surfside, a family area. We are just gonna take a nice little stroll through this neighborhood. As you can see to my immediate right, you have an arcade. Just be careful if you're bringing the kids there because you do have to pay for each game and obviously the bill can add up very quickly. Over here, we have the Surfside Eatery. Now, this area is always complimentary. They have great food and a couple different options over there for you to choose from, as well as ice cream. As you can see, just like on Royal Caribbean's Oasis class, they still kept the carousel. It's just been brought down age-wise to be a little bit more appealing to children. But have no fear, parents. You can still, of course, take a ride with your kids and enjoy yourself. Pier 7 in this area is the only eating option that is not complimentary. They do have a variety of options but it's primarily American food. As we work our way to the after back of the ship, you do have the Lemon Post Bar. Now, this bar is believed to be not only for adults, but children as well. 
meaning there are drinks that are non-alcoholic that kids can come sit at the bar, hang out with their parents, and also have something to drink, as well as the parents having alcoholic beverages. You have a water play area here, kiddie pool over here, some more water activities, as well as seating for the parents in case they want to just lounge around while they watch their kids, have a little bit of fun. By the way, these inward-facing cabins in this area are somewhat designed for families and children. Why? Because obviously this is a family area. Believed to house and accommodate up to four to five people. I know because I'm staying in one currently for this particular sailing, it is a little tight, but it is functional. Actually, you know what? Let's go upstairs. I'll show you. We're going to do a very brisk, quick walkthrough of this Surfside Inward Facing Standard Balcony. As you can see, nothing crazy. This is well-designed, very functional room. Checking out the bathroom. It is a decent size. If you are maybe a little bigger, and I would say if you are shorter than 6 foot, 6 2, I think you'd be overall pretty comfortable in this bathroom. And you can see you have towels around, you have plenty of shelf space, you have the porcelain throne, some smaller little cubbies over here. Very functional bathroom. Here you can control the lighting and temperature for the room right around the corner. Over here next to the bed, you have your storage and closet space, which it is not bad at all. But I would imagine if you are sailing with more than two people, let's say two adults and two children, you are going to have to do a little maneuvering. You could work with these baskets down here. But overall, definitely not bad. You have a plug here, USB port here as well. Over here in the corner, you have two USB ports and some smaller shelves. A USB port over here on the other side of the bed. You have a USB-C port. Well, two of them right here, an American plug, two USB-C ports, a European plug. You also have storage space here as well. There's a hair dryer here. I believe you have the, is it mini bar or fridge? Nope, not a mini bar. It's just a fridge. You have a couch in here that will also turn into a bed. And we are going to see what's going on outside here. Now, one thing I noticed earlier is that it can get a little loud in this area when they're playing music. But overall, pretty spacious. Not a bad place to hang out, especially if you want to just overlook on what's going on here in this area. Now, like I said, this is a family area. It is beautiful. There's lots to see and do, as you saw. However, like I said, as far as the size, it's functional. But if you're bringing in a family of four, five... It does, in my opinion, seem a little tight. Since we're already on deck 14 in the back of the ship where my cabin is, we're just gonna go up one deck into the forward or front part of the ship to check out a new venue and area here on board, the Icon of the Seas, the Aqua Theater. And here we are, looks like this is the entrance. The Aqua Dome. Now this entire area is considered to be the Aqua Dome. However, down here, where they're going to have an amazing Aqua show, is the Aqua Theater. Now along with the Aqua Theater, the Aqua Dome as a whole not only has plenty of lounging areas, it has a complimentary eatery known as the Aqua Dome Market, as well as a non-complimentary, meaning you have to pay for a seafood restaurant that's very popular here on board, Hooked. Let's go check out another neighborhood. This area that you see before you is Chill Island. Just like the name says, Chill Island is for chilling, a place to relax, hang out, grab a drink. By the way, one thing I do want to point out, if I remember correctly, there's a Chill Island on Perfect Day at Coke Coke Cay, Royal Caribbean's private island as well. I've been saying this for over two years now. I do believe that when it comes to these particular new areas and icon of the seas as a whole, at least when it comes to the upper outside decks, it looks like they essentially took Perfect Day at Coke Coke their private island and put it on the ship. So just past Chill Island, you have Thrill Island. Now this is a massive brand new area. Not only do they bring over the Flow Rider Surfing Simulator from past cruise ships like the Oasis class, they also brought in a full-fledged water park known as Category 6, you know like the hurricane, normally there's Category 5 is the highest, but we got Category 6 here, meaning six different insane water slides that I'm gonna check out while I'm here. They have a basketball court, they have a giant play area, there's a lot of things to see and do. We are getting ready to set sail soon, so I'm going to hurry up and show all of you the casino because once it opens, we won't be able to record in there. Here we are. As I always say, guys, Hellas always wins. I don't gamble, but I know you guys like seeing the casino. It does look pretty large and in charge. I do have a friend that works here. He's also a YouTuber. It goes by the name of Mr. Chris Wong. I wonder if I can find him in here right now. If not, I'll find him at another time when the casino's open. By the way, just next to the casino, they also have the music hall. 
I don't typically go here too often. I think the last time I ever came here regularly was when I was on Royal Caribbean's Odyssey of the Seas. But that place also doubled as a nightclub. We are about to sail away in just a couple minutes. And it should be an interesting sail away. Why? Because I think we're getting fireworks. But we'll see you in a minute. How you doing? So now that we have officially sailed away, I'm all cleaned up. It's time to check out our first show of the cruise, the ice skating show. So this dog lives on board. <laughs> Next up, I'm a little hungry, so we're gonna check out the main dining room. Dinner was not bad. They had a pretty standard menu, nothing crazy. They have some other a la carte menu items that you can pay for. I ended up getting filet mignon and lobster. Absolutely delicious, it's like 34 bucks. Either way, I'm full, and now we're gonna head over to the aqua show, where it's not the full show, just a little preview, but it should be good. So here is a tip or a heads up, whatever you want to call it. There are 4,000 people on board. At full capacity, it'll be double the amount of people. And this venue is completely full. It is extremely large and accommodating. However, it is full. I think I might actually come back. They are also running the show tomorrow. So I think we're going to go ahead and see it then and then record it as well. Give you guys an update on what's going on in the Royal Promenade. It is about 10 p.m. right now. It's about 4,000 passengers on board, so it's not full. But it's definitely active tonight. All the bars are up and running, karaoke's going on, and people seem to be having a good time and enjoying all the festivities. Take a good hard look at the motherfucking boat. I'm gonna edit myself the whole time. Ladies and gentlemen, you're always asking, here is the man, the myth, the legend, Again, Chris this, Wong. This is not a first time meeting. Everybody's always asking me, even up until this point, like, oh, Chris Wong, have you met him? He's a YouTuber, he works on the ship. Yes, I know Chris Wong, we've met on multiple occasions. Yeah. Chris, the big question is, how, how are you feeling? Uh, I don't look at install on a ship, like installing a brand new ship, brand new class especially can be difficult. You alright? This is the best cruise ship in the world. And I'm not I'm not just saying that. I don't have to say that. I'm not obliged to say that. This is unlike anything you will ever see. And I'm surprised he I didn't even know he was gonna be on on right now because nobody me, did. I'm like a ninja. Yeah, he told me he cancelled his ship, uh, his ship, and I was like, yeah, okay. And then all of a sudden, he pops out of nowhere into the casino, and I was just like, Jay, what are you doing here? So next up, we have the welcoming party. I heard there's going to be a nice little shindig going on over there. Why? Because for this particular cruise, I forgot to tell you guys earlier, all drinks are free here on board. Well, at least everything but top shelf, of course. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to do it for my first video here on Icon of the Seas, the world's newest and largest cruise ship. I hope you enjoyed, and by the way, like I said earlier, make sure you check out Lux Rally Travel Agency. I forgot to mention that along with them offering you amazing service from airlines to theme parks to all-inclusives to cruises, 
they also do not charge you any fees whatsoever and they will give you the best experience possible with the best rates possible link in the description box below i appreciate you guys hit that like button on your way out subscribe if you haven't already and know as usual i love and appreciate every single one of you i'll see you later take it easy